We're downtown Pottstown, Pennsylvania at Wheels in Motion. This beautiful old deco building was a car dealership for 83 years, and now it's a full service collision center and custom restoration shop. Rumor has it there's some awesome survivor cars in the back. Let's go take a look. Now the showroom here is immaculate and the cars are changed out all the time. Today it's restored and unrestored Corvettes. Now the history of this place is unbelievable. You just don't see this anymore and it's beautifully documented in still frame photography on the back wall. But what we're really here to see is untouched, unrestored cars from the 50s and 60s. Let's go. Mike, you got a real nice clean shop here, and Thank obviously you, late model collision repair mixed in with a bunch of classics, including that F-body Camaro over there, which is near and dear to my heart with the Z sled project. Right. But tell me about the unrestored cars. What's this? 63 Impala Super Sport convertible, um, 38,000 miles, original owner. He parked it in 1974, and we just drug it out of the garage, and here it is. Cool. This bubble top? 61 uh, bubble top. I bought it in 1999. And I finally sold to my son when he was 16 years old. He just shined it up a little bit. He put Lancers and wide white walls. He's getting ready to cruise. Very cool. Man, I could stand here and talk to you about these cars all day long. Me but too. <laughs> can you show me the 59? Show you the 59. I'll go one better. Let's take it for a ride. I like that. So is this manual steering, power steering? Power steering, yes. Manual brakes, power steering. Yep. It's a 283 Turbo Glide, and the Turbo Glide doesn't have gears, it has three torque converters. And uh, you won't feel a shift, it's more just a transition between each converter. So all those ads in Popular Science Magazine that called these 59 Impalas whispery smooth, that's what that was about, right? That's right, the Turbo Glide. And uh, they got a bad rap uh, back in the day because a lot of them were behind 348s right. and they didn't hold up well. But behind the 283, they're actually a, a pretty cool transmission. Yeah. Well, this car is just so cherry. The headliner, I, you could lie to me and say you replaced this stuff in the carpet. Uh, it's just unbelievable, man. What a time capsule. It is. Let me tell you a little about the car. The car was sold new at my shop. It was a yeah. Chevrolet dealer in 1959. But when I was a young kid, uh, this belonged to a local gas station owner. And on the days he brought this car to work, you weren't allowed near the, the air pump to put air in your bicycle tires. Okay. And I always admired it. It was an unusual color. And that was uh, in the 60s. Wow. It was a, in a heated garage for 44 years. Um, he passed away in like 1989. So it literally sat from 89 to um, 2012 when I bought it. He had all the mileage written down and he'd put 100 miles a year on it. So the car never got driven, but who'd have known that a few years later yeah. I'd wind up buying the building where it came from new. What car has that provenance? That's fantastic. <laughs> it is. Yeah. So the colors of these cars, you might think that people in 1959 were colorblind, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, But the truth is, you got a palette and you could order this car in any color combination that you want as long as it was in the color choice guide, right? Right. So right. somebody chose this weird bluish gray dash color and the, the rose colored exterior. You have the Cameo Coral. I didn't know, but I found out through taking it to different shows. Uh, it's a very rare color on Impalas. It means it's original paint and uh, 34,000 miles. Yeah. It's probably the only one around that's this color uh, unrestored. Yeah. yeah. Now, you and I are both old enough to have gone to drive-in movies when we were kids. Probably That's teenagers right. too. Yep. So, this car makes me think drive-in movies. Drive-in movies make me think of ridiculously inappropriate things happening in the back seat. <laughs> right. the back seat. But I'm looking at it and I don't see, uh, I see original upholstery that's in pretty good shape. So that's I think right. we're safe. We're safe. <laughs> and remember we, how many people you could put in the trunk of this car. Remember oh yeah, it was contest. To get into the, <laughs> this one would have definitely held a lot of people. Yep. 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 And a, and, a, and a thing that, you know, I do my research and stuff, the car only weighs 3,600 pounds. Really? And you would expect it to be 4,000. Oh, I would, have, I would have said, nodded my head so, and so, said if you said 4,500 pounds. And I was in disbelief, like it has to be wrong, but I, I, every piece of documentation I could find, 3,600 pounds. Wow, and a late model GT Mustang weighs about 36 and a half. With all that plastic, yeah, and, you know, this yeah. is all steel. Well, you were talking about the fins earlier on, and my dad had a 59 uh, El Camino when we were kids. Yep. And my dad and mom would stress over that car because of me and my brother Blaine, because 
my mom would stress over us riding our bikes around that car with our bicycles because these fins are deadly freaking weapons. Yes. And my dad would stress <laughs> over us riding our bikes around the car because the handlebars would scrub us his paint. <laughs> so, so mom we, was we worried about win. your health and dad was <laughs> worried, worried about, about the, the car. car. <laughs> Oh. I don't know if I mentioned, Kevin, where we're, we're riding right now is High Street in Pottstown. Mm -hmm. And from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, this was literally the cruising capital of the East Coast. No kidding. Uh, everybody came here with their hot rods. They had uh, illegal drag racing out on the bypass, and it was <laughs> really an attraction. Of course, in the last few years, it's died down. They changed the lane configurations, and nobody does it anymore. But for 40 years, this was the place to cruise. Yeah. Kevin, you want to drive it back? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Okay. Um, You're yes. here for today? Yes, I do. Hope I can see over the steering wheel. Wow, effortless steering, man. Yeah. I don't know if you know this or not, but I grew up in British Columbia, Canada. Okay, My yeah. My family's mm -hmm. from Canada. I moved down to the States in 1984. So for me to hear and read about you know, Woodward Avenue and, and you know, cruising California, yep. I'm on High Street with a beautiful unrestored car cruising this is awesome man there's just something about being in a car like this it just it's almost like a form of meditation oh you'll like you'll like this too Kevin and of course we have the tube radio it needs to warm up yep a lot of people don't remember that well we only got AM so what I bought is my, remember these from the 70s a Sparkomatic. I remember Sparkomatic converter piped it through the original tube radio so we have AM FM through the original sounding um, 59 radio with the speaker in the center of the back seat uh -huh. and the speaker up front. So there that, there's that. That's awesome. Well, Mike, I don't want to run this odometer up anymore. I'm going to turn in. We're clocking on the miles. To the dealership here, and uh, I just want to say thanks, man. This is a... Yeah, just pull her up front, Kevin. Absolute thrill to be able to drive this car, and uh, I thank you. I thank you for coming in. This is awesome. Yeah.